I'm Nikki Pasquier, the founder of Virtuoso Assistant, helping you grow your business on a budget. As I'm sure you all know by now, the General Data Protection Regulations kick in after the 25th of May this year. So in this tutorial, I'm going to help you set up your MailChimp sign-up forms so you stay compliant by obtaining freely given, specific, informed and unambiguous consent. I'm going to show you the three essential steps you need to take to ensure your email marketing is GDPR compliant going forward using MailChimp's new GDPR form fields. But before I start, I need to point out that MailChimp GDPR form fields are not available for embedded forms, form integrations, and only subscriber pop-up forms that use the modal design format and either the none or top image alignment. So now let's start off by setting up our GDPR form fields on a regular sign-up form. Firstly, select a list you'd like to add GDPR form fields to. It can be an existing or a new list and select the settings tab on the right hand side. Now click on the list name and defaults subheading and you'll see a checkbox to enable GDPR fields. You're going to add a tick in the box. Please remember to save using the button right at the bottom. Heading back up to the top of your screen, click on the Sign Up Forms tab. Select the Form Builder. Scrolling down, you'll see where MailChimp have added the new GDPR fields right at the bottom, which is called Marketing Permissions. To start customising the form fields, hover over the section and right click it once. On the right hand side, you'll find your GDPR field settings. If you don't like the sound of marketing permissions in the field label, you can overwrite it and call it something else. I'm going to call it GDPR and marketing permissions, just so it's absolutely clear to my subscribers what this is about. The description section explains why you are collecting data on your form. Again, you can edit the text according to your business needs. The options section is very important and it's here that you're allowing subscribers to choose exactly what kind of emails they'd like to receive from you. This is what GDPR means by granular consent. So you need to think very carefully about this before you add your own options. You can keep adding options by clicking on this add an option button. Remember that each marketing activity you carry out must be clearly communicated and requires separate consent. Finally, the legal text underneath is again customizable and explains how you'll use contacts data. You'll need to include the identity of the organisation which is collecting data, which is you, and include your contact details. Let subscribers know very clearly how they can edit their preferences or unsubscribe from your emails. It is not acceptable to make subscribers jump through a series of hoops to unsubscribe. It must be a clear and easy process. Make reference to your privacy and cookie policy in this section if it's appropriate. Since it's not possible to add any links here, I always add a short paragraph in the body of my sign up form to include a link out to my privacy policy just to be absolutely sure that my visitors have the right information before subscribing. Once you're happy with all the information you've added, be sure to save fields at the bottom. The little section here is not customizable since it indicates to your subscribers that their data will be stored on your MailChimp account and therefore includes a link to their privacy policy and their terms. Step number two, segmenting your lists. The next step to becoming compliant is to segment your email list 
according to your subscribers' preferences to ensure you only send out emails that they've requested from you. So from your sign-up form, go to the top of the page, select the Manage Contacts tab and View Contacts. You'll want to create as many segments in your list as you have options in your GDPR form field. So click on the tab that says Create a Segment. Make sure first of all that the Auto Update option is enabled so that new subscribers can automatically be added to each segment as they opt in. So to create your first segment, you'll want to select Contacts Match All of the following conditions that their email preferences are one of, and choose one of your segments. You'll want to preview your segment, and then save as a segment. And you'll want to call it something memorable so you remember. So in my case, it will be blog updates. My auto update checkbox is ticked, and now I just need to save it. You can add up to five conditions for subscribers who indicated a preference for more than one option. I'll run through that once more, just so you're clear about how to create a segment. You can view all your saved segments by clicking on this pull down menu. Step number three, obtaining consent. And this is the final step, so you're nearly done. From the moment you enable your GDPR form fields, any new subscribers will automatically be added to the relevant segments in your list and your list will be GDPR compliant. However, what do you do with subscribers who opted in before you added the GDPR form fields? You need to give them the same chance to select their email preferences and they also need to know about how and for what you're collecting their data. Fortunately, MailChimp have created a really easy solution to this problem by providing a GDPR subscriber alert template. So head over to the templates tab on your dashboard Click on Create Template and select Themes. You'll see a pull down menu underneath and right at the bottom, you'll see Subscriber Alerts. So click on that to select it. You'll see you have two templates and this is the one on the right hand side that you need. So click on that to bring it up onto your dashboard. The template is totally customizable so you can add your own brand style upload your business logo and edit the template according to your needs. You may want to design a new subscriber alert campaign for each separate list you have. To avoid people unsubscribing at this point, be sure to point out the benefits to them of rejoining your list. Point out that they will only ever receive an email from you that's totally relevant to their interests and needs, for example. You might want to include a short paragraph underneath to say that you will remove subscribers from your list if you don't hear from them within a certain amount of days. There are only a few weeks left until the 25th of May, so you'll need to do this before then in any event. I hope that tutorial was helpful. If so, I'd be grateful if you'd give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date with all the latest email marketing tips and advice. I'll see you in the next video.